for this tutorial you'll need a pair of scissors of your favorite type of material a different side color material and um, two baby clothespins a lycra fabric or rayon and you can cut six and a half inches of that and just pull these I've been asked for over and over again because our ears are very sensitive and um, you can see that they're they're very soft and very durable they don't fray and that's why I love the lycra or rayon and a hot glue gun some of these pieces from your local supermarket nobody really uses them or you can get them on eBay you just uh, search for um, bag ties with wiring and that will give you a light wire for the nose piece and this is actually going to be for um, glasses because we all know our glasses can fog up so you're going to put a dot of glue and that template, I'm going to leave a link to that template. I put it on some um, post, like card post paper. So we'll get right to it. So while we're, the glue gun has been already heated up, I'm going to put that little tiny dot right there. I'll show you how I do that. So you're going to put see if I can get closer here so we're gonna put a little teeny teeny little tiny dot if you get too much on it you can spread it out just go like this like that okay and you're gonna twist each side and I'll explain why in a minute I'm gonna twist it down so that when it's on the nose it's not gonna come out I'm gonna put a little more glue cuz I kind of think it just came apart too easily when I twisted it and that's a good test too is twisting that piece so you're gonna put like that that much glue and you're gonna kind of rub it kind of go like that and press it it's kind of hot but I'm used to it then just throw away the excess if there's a lot just throw out that excess glue okay so for the other that's going to be the chin piece and I'm going to put a glue as well a glue dot just like this Okay, so see that? You're gonna just kind of work that glue in there. Okay, and then just kind of break away any of the excess glue. And that can be any hot glue for crafting. I like the fabric glue because, you know, I'm working with fabric. So, so we're gonna go now to get this cut out i'm going to show you my example on my my mannequin face because it's the best one so i don't like to put the mask on especially if i'm selling them on my shop which i'll link and um i'll link my shop there so um you're gonna like cut it Cut the fabric exactly the way your pattern is. Let's see if I can get closer. So you're gonna cut little any little tiny corner, even if it's the tiniest corner, try to get that every little piece. Okay, so. so we are going to here, cut, all 
right so let's see how I kind of just have it up against the fabric because I want to align it exactly the way it is even if it's a tiny corner you gotta match every little detail especially when you are joining two pieces of fabric together and this is a face mask to remind yourself not to touch your face and to remind others around you that to stay far like six feet probably more you know so just your gut. Okay, so I'm gonna get our pieces over there. Okay, and then we will move over here to the sewing machine. I love this machine. I have many actually. I have many machines, but this one is probably one of my favorite my favorite machines. So we are going to turn this on and get this at a zigzag stitch, which is number three. Okay, and then I'm gonna get there. Um, we're gonna start with this point. This is where we're starting. Is right here okay so i have a finished one with a finished piece which you're going to do a back stitch here and you can do one line all the way down i'm going to show you on the back piece at least and then this was on my serger i love working with my serger better because it's just faster and the work is just cleaner it's just better for me because I sew a lot so if you don't sew a lot of machine that's like a hundred dollars at um ninety five dollars at Target okay. surprisingly it was not that much this machine right here was probably about 150 but uh the little ninety five dollar ones work just as well so we are going to um, make sure that we're going to make sure that you can see what I'm doing here and I'm starting at the top of the nose. Okay, so I'll show you where top of the nose. So you can do one forward and then backwards. Actually, I'm not to do that zigzag yet. I'm on number two. I, I made that mistake. So do a back stitch and then a forward stitch. I kind of go a little fast just because I'm advanced. I've been sewing for seven years, so I have a lot of, I have a lot to share. <laughs> I might even do classes. So stay tuned for some sewing classes. All right, so go back stitch. Okay, and then put your needle all the way up. Okay, and then I have a little side cutter here. Side cutter. Let's see. And you're gonna clean off any thing that is not even. So see, it's like not so even there. I love cutting with those scissors. Alrighty, so 
I kind I like to get a thread that kind of matches the front. So I picked this color. It's like a cobalt blue thread. That is one of my favorite colors. All right, so now we're going to open this and we're going to put this the right sides facing each other so this is what i mean it's like if you're gonna see all the messy work for now and then we will get on to that later all right so now we're going to put in our earpiece like i said six and a half inches of ryan or lycra and then you're gonna unfold that little piece there and put it right into there and you're gonna kind of open this for a minute okay and you're gonna tuck that away for later okay and then so we're going to get a zigzag stitch on this part and that is going to be number three okay so we're gonna get the actually you're gonna do a straight stitch there real quick back and then um, so for this piece this is where the clothespin comes in so you're going to put that nose piece that I was telling you about earlier on that part here and you're gonna put that clothespin there because needles don't really catch all the work and then when you're getting up to here with the stitch I'm gonna show you how to gently pull that part I call it the speed bump Because that can actually it gets it gets a little tricky there but I have tricks to help this go run along okay so we're gonna do a straight stitch straight stitch up to that very first part of the pe of the nose piece and like I said this is good for glasses people who wear glasses because the glasses tend to fog up. We're going to number three zigzag stitch. Okay, and that zigzag stitch looks like that on number three. Okay, zigzag. So we're gonna do, we're gonna leave a little opening here so that when we are gonna turn our work inside out, you'll see. So we're gonna go like this. Do it backwards it's very easy once you get to doing like 10 you'll be good as gold um, I also would like to do some business classes because I've been doing business for about 10 years now and I know a lot of stuff about business so I might do that So right, right when we get up to the nose piece, which is what I call the speed bump. Okay, we are going to still keep our, our um, finger here, your index finger there. Okay, and then you're going to gently pull when you get to the speed bump there's a speed bump and you're gonna want to go back stitch and forward okay and then we're gonna get right about here we're going to 
gently pull and now you don't have to pull anymore okay and then uh here we go now all right so we're gonna get our other earpiece in and we're gonna unroll unroll that piece we're gonna go right in here okay so by the way this is performance fabric under which is super soft it's very expensive it's twenty dollars a yard but um it's worth it it's so worth it so you know um do a little back stitch at the end and then you're gonna go straight stitch which is number two and then do a back stitch over that ear piece a couple of times right when we get about here you're gonna put your needle all the way down lift up your presser foot and pivot all of your work now I left this out a little so I could show you how I'm already gonna start doing my pleat work in from the inside um, because it's just cleaner I like it better and for this type of mask which I will have the link in the description um, you're gonna want only one pleat because it can get really small you end up giving gifting to a child which isn't bad so see how I did two different pleats I didn't match them up to each other because you will not be able to get it unrolled I don't know why okay so you're gonna unroll your work and don't force it let it naturally unroll okay so you're gonna hold that work there put remember put down your presser foot and then straight stitch watch me go over it a few times your piece okay and then while your needle's down pick up your presser foot and pivot your work I used to leave all my openings over here at the bottom but for some reason I got into the habit of doing it up near the nose piece so we're going to you can also use a uh, if you want to do the no, the turn your work inside out from the bottom you just move your fabric while you have that I put wire at the bottom as well because I want you to have full control of this mask okay so you can also okay you can also uh you don't have to put wire throughout the bottom i just like to because it just gives you full control and you're going to go to that zigzag stitch number three on my machine For some reason i can't do it okay so and watch how i just follow follow it gliding it, it glides right in there and then when it gets to the speed bump here, which I should have my clothespin, you're gonna gently pull that work through again. All right, and then we're gonna remove the, the clothespin and gently from the other side right here, pull the work through very gently over the speed bump. There. And we got it. Just all the way through. When you get about here, get this earpiece ready to go in. And we're going to use all our work here. We're going to unfold. Like I said, don't fight it. Okay. And we're going to 
It's like weaving in that nose piece. Now around here, you're going to get to the straight stitch. Back stitch. Put your needle down. Put that needle down. Put up your presser foot and pivot your work. And one more time, I'm going to show you. I'm grabbing the other end. I'm matching up the size. Iris know it already, so you match up that size, and you're going to start pleating the inside. You see how I kind of just fold it over my finger here, so right there, and then you're going to fold this piece, not together, just. For some reason, it just does not pull the work through evenly. It just is a big mess. So don't try, don't let it be perfect there. So see how I have my pleats. They're different. You're going to go over there. Do a back stitch over that other, what I call, speed bump. Right there and up to the nose piece. Do a few back stitches. Okay. We're back up near the opening. So clean that up here. And then you're gonna don't forget to pull that string out a little kind of cut it too short there we go so now we're gonna pull our work through from from the opening here we're gonna go all the way to the opposite side of that oh forgot to mention cut off this excess piece because it's not really you don't want that interfering. I just kept it on there to show you how to do the pleat from the inside. And then, let's see. I kind of don't like what happened here. I didn't notice that before. So I'm going to go back over just that part. It's probably when I pulled my work through, I was not not seeing that so it may sound like i'm sick but i've had my nose blocked for about uh a month now back stitch actually two months pull it gently okay. see i didn't like that but it, it did go back to normal it's just picky. i'm so picky I'm just so picky, I can't help it. And anyways, we're gonna actually go over it when we do the straight stitch up there. Cut any of that excess out. Okay. Cut this off. Try not to get your back stitches out. That's extra security. Check your work. It doesn't have to be super perfect because we're going to go over it anyways. Um, it will be perfect once we get it on this side. So from that opening up here, you're going to go all the way to the opposite corner. Tuck all of your corners in. And then pull it gently. Just that's just to make sure that we pulled all our work through. Okay, we're gonna fold it right here. Fold it about half inch so that we have seam allowance. 
that. Pull that ear up. Pull this ear out. Because what happens is when you, you get that top stitch, you're going to want a little bit of seam allowance here so that it won't affect the size. So, there we go. I like to start my stitch here at this ear because that way I'm not leaving any kind of mess. And you're going to want to stay away from this corner here, like about a half inch, because there's a lot of fabric there that you have to go through with that needle. So we're going to do a back stitch. Whoops, I forgot to. Back, over the ear piece. Okay. And then... So we're going over that pleat. I like one pleat on this style mask because there's not a lot of fabric and if you do too many pleats, it's just gonna it's just gonna mess up your work. It's gonna make it so small. Back stitch over that earpiece. Put leave your needle down, press her foot up and pivot your work. Okay, press your foot back down. Don't forget to press your foot back down. Okay, like I said, this is so good for people with glasses. Going over the speed bump. Pull it gently over that speed bump with this hand. down press the foot up pivot and press the foot down okay and then stay away from these edges because it will take it might break your needle all that fabric especially the performance fabric is so thick thick but very um, durable it's for put I and mean, it's it's very uh, durable and it's performance fabric, so it's the best, the best. Put the first foot down, I almost forgot it. And then you're gonna go along the edge here. You can feel the wire. Feeling that wire there. Make sure it's to the left of the needle so that the needle's not catching it. We are now securing our work. So now that we're here, we're going to fold our work in. Fold, fold. And then we're going to go very neatly. Oh, pulling it through that speed bump. Cut out. We'll cut all that later. And then see, I can feel the wire there. And then when we get here, we're going to go over our earpiece. Back stitch. Two times. And then put your presser foot up. And we're going to cut off the excess work here. Threads. Then I will show you how to use it under your glasses. Not on me. Okay. There we go.
see. So, let me go over here. With my needles, I'm gonna show you. So I have one needle here. I'm gonna put that in. This a needle here. Then I'm gonna comfortably put this on the mask. Okay. So, now I'll show you what I'm saying. So, you will be able to press, press that nose and the chin. You'll have full control of that. And I'm going to get the glasses so I can show you what I mean. Okay, so, once you have the glasses on, See, there's like a opening there. You're not gonna have any problem because you're gonna be able to have full control of that wire under your nose. So it will not be foggy. If you wanna wear, wear, wear it way up your nose, okay, you have full control under. And that's it.